During a fishing expedition in the Arctic, a ship's crew spotted something unusual, a polar bear swimming toward them. It didn't seem near any larger plaques of ice, which concerned the crew, especially when it started to follow their boat. Knowing that polar bears often are solitary and avoid human contact, they knew that had to do something. The crew quickly lowered a rescue vessel to investigate further and prepared for an unpredictable and potentially dangerous interaction. They knew the risks they were taking, but they were sure the boat would be too high for it to jump on. That reason alone made half of the crew less worried, though that didn't mean their nervousness would completely disappear. There didn't seem to be ice that could support the animal's weight in their general proximity either, and well, they couldn't just let it drown. When the lifeboat hit the water, the bear let out a soft roar as its strong paws and claws hauled it onto the lifeboat. Luckily, that one can't deflate, Richard, one of the crew members, murmured, and a few other members laughed at the remark. The captain, Captain Reynolds, walked over to the edge, coming face to face with the polar bear. The animal stood on its hind legs, looking up at Captain Reynolds and the crew as it let out another, though now more prominent, roar. The captain's brow furrowed. What is it doing? He asked. But his crew remained silent, mesmerized by the animal in the boat under them. What could possibly be wrong with it? The polar bear just kept making sounds, though its roars weren't as loud. They stayed on course, but as they kept moving west, the polar bear became more frantic. Halt the ship, Captain Reynolds ordered, and it didn't take long for it to do so. Then. Suddenly, the bear did something they hadn't expected. It jumped back into the water, going the direction of which they came. This was certainly something strange. They thought to have saved the animal, but now the animal was leaving them again. Maybe it had needed a little respite from all its swimming. Regardless, Captain Reynolds felt like he was missing something as he kept a close eye on the animal. While most of his crew returned to their posts, he kept watching the animal. Instead of swimming away, it suddenly stopped, piquing Reynolds' interest. It turned slightly, its head facing the ship again, as it let out another loud roar before swimming back to the raft. Climbing on yet again, standing on its hind legs, Reynolds wondered if it was merely hungry. Considering this, he quickly made his way to the storage, grabbed a large fish specimen, and returned to the side of the boat. However, when he threw the fish at the animal, it did something unexpected. Nothing. Captain Reynolds was puzzled. In their stare down, the polar bear began pawing at the side of the ship. What did this animal want? Captain Reynolds called for the steward to fetch the radio for further observation, noticing not everyone shared his fascination with the bear. Luckily, steward swiftly returned with the radio shortly after it was requested. This radio would prove invaluable not only could they use it to communicate with other ships for assistance, but the captain hoped that some ships might possess expertise relevant to their predicament. Turning on the radio, Captain Reynolds made an urgent plea, hoping for help with the polar bear situation they were facing. He transmitted their distress call, seeking assistance and insight into the bear's unusual behavior. Miles away, aboard the research vessel Arctic Explorer, Dr. Lena Morgan and her team intercepted the transmission. Intrigued, they quickly responded, acknowledging the call and preparing to assist. This could be significant, Dr. Morgan murmured to her team, her curiosity piqued by the mention of a polar bear behaving unusually. They discussed potential reasons behind the bear's behavior, considering various possibilities. Back on the Amberjack, Captain Reynolds directed his crew to prepare for the arrival of the scientists. As they readied the ship, the crew shared speculative thoughts about the bear's behavior while Captain Reynolds stood at the helm awaiting the expert's arrival. With urgency, Captain Reynolds relayed their precise coordinates to the approaching Arctic explorer, guiding them closer to the mysterious scene unfolding in the Arctic waters. Dr. Morgan, aboard the Arctic explorer, asked for detailed descriptions of the bear's appearance and behavior aiming to thoroughly investigate its condition and actions. In response, Captain Reynolds carefully reported the bear's physical condition and peculiar actions, hoping to provide the scientists with valuable insights to aid their analysis. The gap between the two vessels steadily closed 
As the Arctic explorer approached the Amberjack, Dr. Morgan and her team of scientists readied their equipment with anticipation, eager to unravel the mystery of the polar bear's behavior. Aboard the Amberjack, the crew prepared to host the arriving scientists with meticulous activity, ensuring all necessary equipment was in order and ample space was cleared for the research team. The Arctic explorer docked alongside the Amberjack and Dr. Morgan, accompanied by her team, boarded the ship with specialized equipment in tow, ready to document and analyze the bear's behavior. As the scientists observed the bear from a safe distance, noting its agitated state and intense gaze, they began to study its movements, seeking to decode its cryptic communication. The polar bear's erratic behavior, including jumping in and out of the water, puzzled both scientists and crew, adding complexity to the unfolding mystery. Equipped with their tools, the experts meticulously recorded the bear's actions, discussing potential interpretations and hypotheses to explain its behavior. Amidst their observations, the team noticed the bear repeatedly gesturing towards a specific direction in the sea, sparking further speculation and analysis. This recurring action sparked a new line of thought among the group. Could the bear be trying to direct their attention to something significant in that particular area of the icy sea? The scientists delved deeper into analyzing the bear's movements, seeking patterns. Notice the frequency of its actions and the direction it faces each time, Dr. Morgan instructed, her eyes fixed on the bear. The team meticulously documented these patterns, attempting to decipher a deeper meaning. Every movement and sound made by the polar bear was scrutinized. The team discussed the significance of its roars, the angle of its gaze, and even the rhythm of its pacing. Each action must have a purpose, Dr. Morgan mused. The crew listened intently, captivated by the idea that the bear's behavior might hold critical clues. Despite their efforts, the polar bear's actions continued to confound everyone. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Dr. Morgan admitted, her frustration evident. Through their binoculars, the scientists made a pivotal observation. The polar bear was female. This could be a maternal behavior, Dr. Morgan suggested. The team noted this crucial detail, considering how it might influence her conduct. The discussion turned somber as the scientists considered a tragic possibility. Could she be distressed over the loss of her cubs? One researcher voiced out. The idea that the bear's behavior might stem from maternal grief led the team to view her actions with empathy and concern. The team gathered around a chart, discussing the potential influence of maternal instincts. If she's a mother, her actions could be protective or a call for help another scientist added. Despite identifying her as potentially a mother, the precise reason for her distress remained elusive. Influenced by the scientists' insights, Captain Reynolds made a choice. Let's follow her lead, he declared. The Amberjack changed course, aligning with the direction indicated by the bear. This new path marked a shift in their journey, guided by the hope of unraveling the mystery at sea. The crew members exchanged glances, silently contemplating the enigmatic path they were following under the guidance of the polar bear. Embracing the unknown, the crew placed their trust in the bear's mysterious guidance. There's something she's trying to show us, remarked one deckhand, gazing towards the horizon with a mix of awe and anticipation. This leap of faith, based on the instincts of a wild animal, felt like the only path to follow for the seasoned sailors. The Amberjack ventured into less familiar waters, guided by the bear's silent insistence, the sea feeling more mysterious and unexplored around them. Captain Reynolds kept a vigilant eye on the path ahead, navigating not just through physical space, but through a puzzle presented by nature. Undeterred, the polar bear continued to lead with determination, her actions deliberate and reinforcing the crew's belief in her guidance. As they followed, the bear occasionally glanced back, ensuring they were still in pursuit, her presence enigmatic against the Arctic backdrop. As the day wore on, the team contemplated a heartbreaking possibility, the loss of her cubs casting a shadow over the group. Approaching a specific area, the bear's behavior became increasingly restless, suggesting they were nearing something of great importance to her. The observers noted a change in demeanor as the bear made more deliberate movements, hinting at a heightened sense of purpose. 
The crew felt a growing sense of anticipation and readiness for a discovery as they sensed they were on the brink of understanding the bear's urgent messages. With the bear's urgency increasing, the crew and scientists prepared themselves for what lay ahead, feeling the anticipation of an imminent revelation. In the Amberjack's cabin, the team gathered over maps and data sheets, meticulously correlating the bear's behaviors with their current location. Each piece of information contributed to constructing a coherent picture from the collected data and the bear's actions. On deck, attention was drawn to the bear's consistent glances and gestures towards a distant point in the icy landscape. It's as if it's trying to show us something specific, remarked one scientist, noting the bear's persistent focus. The deliberate actions added a vital clue to the unfolding mystery. The direction indicated by the bear led them far from typical polar bear territories, prompting speculation among the scientists and crew. Why would she lead us here? Questioned Captain Reynolds, eyeing the unfamiliar landscape, adding an intriguing layer to their journey. A sense of unity prevailed as discussions, theories, and observations were shared among crew and scientists, all working towards deciphering the clues presented by the bear. As the Amber Jack continued to follow the bear's cues, a sense of anticipation grew, with each observation bringing them closer to unraveling the mystery. In the midst of discussions, the onboard climatologist proposed a theory based on recent ice drift patterns, suggesting the bear's cubs might be stranded on a drifting slab of ice. This hypothesis aligned with the bear's desperate behavior and her apparent seeking of help from humans. She's seeking help. Dr. Morgan deduced, realizing the urgency of the situation. As the Amberjack approached the indicated area, the atmosphere on board was charged with anticipation, with crew and scientists eagerly scanning the horizon. Suddenly, a shout from the lookout drew everyone's attention to movement on the ice ahead. Through binoculars, they spotted subtle movements on a distant slab of ice, sparking hope that these might be the bear's cubs and reinforcing the urgency of their mission. Zooming in with their binoculars, the team made a heartwarming discovery. The polar bear's cubs were indeed on the drifting ice slab, appearing stranded and confirming the climatologist's theory. This revelation brought a sense of validation and urgency. The mother bear's behavior now made perfect sense as she had been leading them to save her young. Immediately, the crew and scientists convened to formulate a rescue plan, emphasizing the need for a careful but swift approach. Captain Reynolds suggested using the raft the mother bear had climbed onto, allowing her to stay close to her cubs during the rescue. The raft was positioned as the mother bear understood the plan, positioning herself on it, her eyes filled with hope and anxiety fixed on her distant cubs. The Amberjack and the Arctic Explorer worked together, maneuvering through the icy waters towards the drifting cubs with precision and care. As they neared the ice slab, a rescue team was deployed, reaching the cubs with gentle and precise movements. The little bears, though frightened, were unharmed. The team secured each cub onto the raft, prompting the mother bear to let out a sound that was a mix of a roar and a relieved sigh upon seeing her cubs safe. The polar bear family was reunited on the raft, the mother bear gently nudging her cubs, her demeanor softening with relief. The crew and scientists felt a profound sense of accomplishment, having confirmed the ice drift theory and successfully rescued the bears. Now, they prepared to guide the bear family back to the main pack ice.